Hello, everybody, and welcome to your mom's sodomy prize for poetry, where you are going to read the best damn book of poems that you've ever come across. Yeah, I know that's a pretty high standard, but if your mom has taught me anything, it's that you can talk a big game as long as you can back it up, just like your mom, okay? All right, so let's get into what the effing H-E double hockey sticks I'm talking about here, shall we? This is the video that tells you all about me being the winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry. Yes, this is a bit funny. This is a bit tongue-in-cheek. You guys see what I'm saying here? This is kind of a, a subtle not so subtle satirical stab at the book prize industry but we're having a good time here i want you you i want you to be able to have everything your mom has to offer and more okay this new collection of my poetry is the cream of your mom's crop Winning your mom's sodomy prize for poetry has been a dream come true for both me and your mom, okay? In fact, your mom giving me a long and extended stay deep inside your mom's MFA program only makes it better by the fact that it was a free ride, okay? And I'm not going to say what MFA stands for. Motherfucking ass! Am I right? Am I right? This book here, which is mostly new poems of mine over the last year, it's 2021 to 2022, but it was like the tail end of 2021 to like the first half of 2022, basically. Almost everything in here is new, with the exceptions of poems that were accepted by um, certain journals and magazines and stuff like that, and those will be listed in the book, obviously. And this book is going to be roughly 150 pages, depending on the trim size. It's either gonna be 146 or like 162. Let me tell you what, this book, not only is it the best stuff that I've written over the last year, but you're gonna get this book and my chat book for the month of March, 2023 which is called Runner Up, which is all the poems that didn't quite make the cut of your mom. Let's find out a little more about your mom, shall we? We shall. Now, along with being the winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry, I'm also one of the only people probably out there who has been able to have successful crowdfunding campaigns with books of posy, okay? Um, the End of Everything didn't quite hit the goal, but I got enough out of it to make the books and send them out to everyone who took part in the campaign. And then with Fingering the Mundane, the second one I did, we did hit the goal. Everyone got their shit. So with this one, winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry, I know that I will be able to hit this goal and send all of these books and fun little extras out to all of you and make you all very happy with all of the gifts that rain down from your mom. Okay, so let's take a look at what some of this is. So first off, I am really excited to share this book with you. And here's why. The poetry industry takes itself too fucking seriously. We all know this, okay? This is my best collection yet. And like I said before, it is a bit of a satirical stab at the book prize community slash industry. But my goal, okay, my goal in this book is to make poetry as popular as possible, as accessible as possible. So the 1500, okay, this is like the bare bones level of what we're gonna do here. And I'm hoping we could hit stretch goals to bring all this stuff up. But basically, the 1500 is to get these books printed and shipped to me so then I could sign them and number them and send them back out to you. I'm also gonna be purchasing ISBN number for the book so it could be carried in stores worldwide if that is something that ends up happening through this. Um, the cost of paper and shipping has gone up dramatically since my last campaign, like literally, it's ridiculous. As we are doing this video, the quotes that I've already gotten from printers, they're warning me of an industry-wide paper shortage. 
okay? So I don't think this is something that's gonna last. And in fact, by the time this thing wraps up, I'm hoping that everything starts to go back to normal. But as you know, if you've been following me for any time, my chat books, okay, the paper that I use for the inside of those books have tripled in price since November. So let me tell you what all of the perks that you can get. So obviously you're gonna get a copy of winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry, mostly new poems, 2021 to 2022. And this has over 60 mostly new poems in it. You're gonna get eBooks, you're gonna get audiobooks. You're gonna be able to hear your mom through my mouth into your ear holes, okay? I don't know what is hotter than that. Um, you're also gonna get my March 2023 chapbook runner-up. You could get my other paperbacks, The End of Everything and Fingering the Mundane, while supplies last. Again, I have successfully crowdfunded those here, so keep that in your little hat there. There's also going to be um, different tiers where you can get over 25 of my limited edition signed and numbered chapbooks. You're gonna get random books from my bookcases because I've decided I'm just gonna start sending books out to people because I don't give a shit. So if there's books I wanna get rid of, you might end up with some mysteries, some westerns, some horror, whatever. I'm just gonna start sending people crap, okay? You're also gonna get random t-shirts from my t-shirt collection black t-shirts all cut up that smell like tobacco, wine, Old Spice, and Sauvage. So deal. Um, there's gonna be stickers. I hate Matt Wall stickers. I'm gonna send those out. There's also going to be a tier that will give you a glossy eight by 10 photo of this motherfucker on the toilet signed by me, sent to you. There's also a tier in here where I'm gonna be sending your mom, yours, your mom, a little note, letting your mom know how awesome you are. If you want your mom to know that you're the shit, that's one tier to fucking go to. Um, your name is gonna be in the special thanks of the book. There's even tiers where I will come to you. I will come to your town. I will come to your house, to your casa. And you could host a reading or a workshop or anything like that, or just have me around to look at for a couple days. Plus, again, some really cool stretch goals. I wanna make something very, very clear. This is a pre-order campaign, okay? So no matter what, your mom is coming out and she's coming hard, okay? No matter what happens here, all of us are gonna be able to run our hands and fingers all over your mom. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is that this is a sort of litmus test for me to kind of see how much reach I have for direct-to-consumer sales for my upcoming press, Poetic Anarchy Press, okay? Stretch goals are gonna be based on the quality of the book. So a lot of it is going to be like, what paper types am I gonna use? What paper weights am I gonna use? What cover stocks am I going to use? And the biggest thing here is gonna be the difference between digital printing, which I've done in the past, and it is very passable, and most people don't even know that it's a thing. Okay, to offset printing, which is what really nice books are printed with. And you can tell quality when you look at an offset printed book compared to a digital printed book. Talking about my like little autistic ADHD self here, I'm really into texture, okay? I'm probably more crazy about this than most people. I want your mom to feel so good on your skin, okay? I want this to be a pleasure to not only read, but a pleasure to hold, a pleasure to put in your pocket, in your pants, okay? I want your mom to pleasure you. Do you understand what I'm saying here? And also by doing this, it's gonna show me like kind of how much reach I have to be able to promote other poets' work. This whole thing is kind of like preseason when it comes to like a, a, for a sports analogy for you. This is like the preseason games to see what the regular season might look like. I see what I'm saying here. Again, if this project is successful, it will give me a solid foundation to promote and release books for other poets through Poetic Anarchy Press. Again, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but this isn't my first rodeo, and it definitely isn't your mom's, okay? So I also want to make the most beautiful and cost-efficient poetry books for readers everywhere, okay? And I can only do that with your help. Like, your mom can't do it all. You know what I'm saying? Your mom can't do this on her own. It's gonna take me, it's gonna take your mom, and it's gonna take you to make this project a reality, okay? 
do your mom proud, make your mom happy with you. Do not be a disappointment to your mom. Because we all know that guilt from your mom is heavy. It's, it's, a, it's a burden, guys. It is a cross to bear. Let's just make your mom proud and knock this one out of the motherfucking park, okay? So keep doing what you're doing. Type hard, support your mom, and I will see you soon. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.